Hello creators, welcome back to another video. Today I'm using the Honey Bee Bundle to create this beautiful Hive Shaker card. I am using the Hive Stamp along with the Thinking of You Sweet Friend Stamp. And I'm going to be using the Stamparatus to position my Hive into the cutout of this scrap piece of paper. I made several cards using this bundle because it's amazing and I really highly recommend it. <laughs> if you've seen my videos, you know that. But I have this scrap piece of paper that I cut out a few images from and I wanted to use it on a card so I decided to play around with this and I just wanted to kind of see where it would take me. So I decided to employ the same technique I used on a previous card using the Stamparatus to stamp in that negative space on a card mat in the background. And now I'm going to cut out a B that I had previously stamped and colored in with Daffodil Delight along with a gold foil B using the detailed B die. I really thought that this turned out beautiful on the gold foil. All that detail really shines through. Now I'm taking some of our clear window sheets and I'm just going to cut it apart a little bit so that it will fit over the die cuts on this card mat. I'm going to adhere that window sheet to the back of this scrap cutout piece with my snail adhesive. That's all you really need to get a good stick on this. And once I have that all adhered using that snail, I'm going to get out my foam adhesive strips. Now these are nice because they're very tall. You could use some dimensionals but you'd need quite a few because to do shaker cards you really want to make sure that you frame really well the areas that you want to have the sequins or beads, whatever you're using for your shaker inside. I'm using some of these celebration sequins. You can find these linked in the description box below. And I'm just going to put them onto the card mat that I have stamped the hive on. And then once I take off the backing from that foam pieces on the back, I can glue that down to the front and I have my shaker. I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to adhere the detailed bee die cutout from that gold foil on top of the largest bee cutout. It doesn't exactly match, but it matches well enough that you can see through it and you can see the shaking sequins behind. I'm going to use that liquid glue to adhere the tiny little bee down inset into that smaller bee cutout. I'm using some of this beautiful Daffodil Delight ribbon to tie a bow and then I'm just going to collect a few accent pieces for the front of the card. I'm going to stamp my sentiment thinking of you sweet friend with my memento ink and I'm going to cut it out with the largest bee die. I find that this sentiment fits perfectly inside the wings of this little die. I'm going to use my liquid adhesive as well as some dimensionals and glue dots to adhere all of these pieces to the front of my card.
And finally, the finishing touch is to use some snail adhesive to adhere this to my Daffodil Delight card base, and this card is finished. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified of future videos. You can follow me online at mcreations.com and on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest with the handle at mcreations. Be sure to check out my previous videos and playlists for more creative inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!